Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out the leg legacy fuel uh, system resource, which is actually pretty cool. It got requested a few days ago, so I decided to just do it this week um, because I had the extra time. Uh, a few announcements before we get started. Number one, we have a bunch of new series coming, including the ESX tutorial installs, essentials mode, uh, resource installs, creating a 5M uh, server from like the beginning to managing it and all that stuff. We also got a few new Minecraft tutorials coming out. and. Uh, last but not least, we have a actual 5PD gameplay series and a Chase Me type gameplay series coming out very soon as well, along with a Firefighter Simulator series. So, lots of new videos coming soon, make sure to stay tuned for them. I'm off this week, so I'm catching up on actually creating videos, which is really, really cool. Uh, so, let's get straight into this one. Um, so, today we're going to be checking out this Legacy Fuel. Pretty much what this does is it's kind of like FR Fuel. Um, but some of the screenshots are actually pretty cool, so you can actually uh, have to stand next to the pump to exit your vehicle. Uh, it comes with this nice little HUD and everything. Very, very cool. Um, so there is a lot of cool features with this, and it's been used widely a lot. Um, so in order to install it, just go ahead and click the download link on the resource page. It will be linked down in the description below. And once you are here, what you're going to do is head over to the releases tab, which is on the right hand side. And then you're just going to go ahead and download the latest source code dot uh, zip file, which you'll just uh, go ahead and download it. Um, and obviously it's not been updated in a while, but um, people are still making changes to it. So you can actually pull it yourself uh, via the code download button if you have any issues with it afterwards or if you want to uh, edit it and do it yourself um so go ahead and open up the zip file and then this will go ahead and open up with winrar winzip 7zip whatever you use to go ahead and download your files and then inside this folder you can see there is everything in here you're going to need so all you have to do is go to your resources folder and drag it straight into your resources and then if you go in here you can actually edit the config.lula file with notepad plus plus to go ahead and use this so i'm not using esx so i'm going to turn this to false uh, just because I'm not using it. You can have what cost could the carry cans be if um, you're doing like ESX type stuff. What uh, don't need to change is just leave it. Uh, disabled keys, what keys could you disable? Uh, you can get the key list from uh, just online. I'm not going to be using the HUD as I have my own installed, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. I'm going to show all gas stations on the map and everything. There we go. So we have configured it to our liking cut this out me all right so now that we've configured it we're just going to go ahead and rename the folder and we're going to just copy the name that it is right there head to our server data server.cfg file and edit it with notepad plus plus and then add ensure the name of the resource which is legacy fuel dash 1.1 go ahead and save and now we are ready to close out this other zip file and start our 5m server all right, so when we start our server, if you go ahead and check the start.bat like window that pops up, you can see started resource legacy fuel 1.1. So we know it has started correctly. We're going to go ahead and log 5M and check it out ourselves in game. All right, so we are in game and you can see there is a fuel icon over here on the map. So if I go ahead and pull up to these uh, pumps here and go ahead and get out. So now that we got out of our car, you can see there's a little icon there which says either press E to refuel the vehicle or you can press E to grab a jerry can. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and refuel the vehicle. So I'm going to press E and then I uh, go ahead and do the animation like I'm refueling the vehicle, which is pretty cool. And then once I'm done refueling, I can just press E to cancel it and I can get back into my vehicle and head off. So hopefully this did help you install it and you can see over there if you have the HUD on it shows you how much fuel you have the um, fa how fast you're going in kilometers and miles per hour and you can configure that to your liking if you use a resource like a car HUD or something uh, you can configure that off so you have your custom fuel uh, icons and whatever you want to do all right hopefully this did help you thank you so much for suggesting it and I'll see you tomorrow for or see you in two days for another video goodbye all